Hey, Chargeback Army, it's Terrence from Chargeback Ford. We haven't put anything on in a while, but I did this little thing here in Resident Evil 4, and I thought I'd share. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Today is Easter Sunday, and I woke up this morning to get Platinum in Resident Evil 2. And this is how I did. So by no stretch of the imagination, is this a speed run or a no damage run? This is a chaos run. This is my third attempt. Resident Evil uh, 2 Remake has been a fantastic game. The amount of care and attention that's put towards this and what is beyond the game once you've cleared it. Okay, so let's just get down to commentary here. So I've seen a lot of people um, shoot these first two zombies. As you can tell, I'm eating shit there with the second zombie. What a great start. I almost hit reset, but I decided, eh, we're going to continue. And you'll notice I'll be going into the options every once in a while, having an autist moment, but what can you do? All right. Stun that guy with a shotgun blast to the face. I usually run, but uh, my first two attempts there, he ended up biting my ankles. So no damage sustained, but uh, we're going to continue on. Okay, what I'm going to do now here is a little trick. Again, this is not a speed run. So going through that door, I'm going to run straight towards the window and behind that um, that panel right there. Dogs cannot get in, but I can shoot there. So I got a pretty good one-shot kill there. I'm not sure why. I'm not really an expert when it comes to uh, damage points and whatnot. I just really enjoy the game and the challenge, so let's leave it at that. Okay, with the dogs out of the way, I'm going to make my way down, jumping down this shaft. As you can tell, I'm primarily using the shotgun. Every once in a while, especially in this part, I will be pulling out the machine gun, but to limit its success. Okay, decent there, but we already have that dog jumping towards me. And I'm already eating shit, so there goes my knife, but I'm going to get that back. Now at this point I could have gone to the bridge to confront the dogs, but they're running quick, so I've decided to uh, take care of them poorly here with a submachine gun. I've already gotten hit a couple of times. And I am uh, shooting this machine gun like a complete amateur, but that's okay. Okay, so as I found out, flashbangs are extremely important, and that's the reason why I decided not to use one of this guy. Okay, early on in, I'm already using a f the first day spray, but that's okay. This is my th only my third attempt to do this. So by no stretch of the imagination, are things perfect. I'm putting together my strats. And running away with the dogs at my heels, but lucky I was able to get through that without any issue. Okay, at this moment here, I'm just kind of getting myself together. I'm deciding whether or not I want to quit, but I'm going to continue on. So uh, playing this game here, even though we do have uh, four weapons, be it the, uh, the submachine gun, the pump action shotgun, uh, the magnum there, as well as the 9 mil. So um, I'm focusing more on using the shotgun as it just seems to do better for me when I do have to fire. Okay, so going down here, we're just going to skirt around the guy to the left on the ground as he is getting up. Same thing with this guy on the right. Now we're going to hug the right wall here because there's a guy on the left that could grab me. And just doing a little do -si do around those guys because uh, I'm not really interested in wasting ammo or getting injured or the potential of uh, losing a defense item. Okay, I find when uh, coming up here is going to be two adult G's, and I find if you use a knife um, as a defense item, it doesn't really do much good for you in terms of getting enough time and space away. So here I must uh, trying to deke them out. Okay, we've already got one guy doing his thing and going way around the outside, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, it's the first time in three attempts I was able to do that without sustaining a damage or losing defense items. 
Okay, jumping up out of the water. Obviously, we're just going to run right by that guy because the purpose of the Force Survivor, like the all the other extra modes, isn't to mow everything. It's to get by them. All right, so no need to waste any ammo on that guy. Just going to run around him into the elevator, and upstairs we go. Okay, so we're going to continue... Uh, this tradition that I've developed in the past couple of minutes of avoiding and uh, running around. So this is pretty fun there. Just magically avoiding everybody. I'm not sure how I should have done that. I was wanting to go the right side around that pillar, but uh, that worked out pretty good. Okay, up ahead at the end of the hallway we have a liquor that is, um, is going to be triggered soon. Of course not by movement, but just because of the fact that that's where we have to do it. So I have the uh, Magnum right now, the Lightning Hawk. It's kind of shit I had to shoot five times. I only got one close reticle shot in and I missed one or two shots, but that's okay. Now coming around here, all these zombies of course are on the ground, so fuck them. You're not going to be able to get up in time and attack, so we're just going to run by. Complete disregard. Now you'll notice I do go up the stairs normally. Uh, I don't really care about this hop, jumpy, quicker stair ascension method that I see a lot of speedrunners doing. Not my style. I just uh, not a speedrunner. Just trying to get through it in one piece and have a good time doing it. Okay, so we have a couple of dogs and a couple of zombies here, but just gonna skirt around them. Uh, got bumped by a dog, but no damage. And I'm gonna get over to that ladder and grab on just before it bit me. So that's a pretty, pretty lucky part there. Okay, so we're immediately going to go to the right here. We're just going to try to shoot people there in a way. A little shotgun blast in his face. And as well there. And I got lucky. Usually I see speedrunners uh, having to shoot more enemies. Now from here gotta walk because on the wall towards the end of this little hallway is a liquor. Uh, now it's kind of funny where you're going to see I start to run right there and in that little time the liquor was able to jump down, get over to me and almost hit me. And also I heard dogs coming in the background, which I had no desire to entertain that. And here's my uh, dear personal friend, Mr. X. So again, my accuracy is phenomenal on a Sunday morning. There goes your hat, Mr. X. Now, I actually heard a metal ring when I shot him in the skull there, so I think I may have shot him too early now looking dangerous. This is where things are starting to get hairy, but I really do want to cease his progression. Finally, there we go. Again, way too many shots. I only have one magnum shot left. And I have one heal and one additional shield left. So we're getting closer to the end, but uh, we still have to do a lot of item conservation. Okay, over on the right here is going to be a guy that I should have shot, but seeing him hug the counter there, I thought I'd have enough space. And unfortunately, he gives me a little nibble on the back of my uh, back of my neck there. I really wish that guy's head would have blown off, but that wasn't the case. And I don't know why I tried to skirt around him. There was no way, and I lost my knife there. But I got to avoid those guys coming out the door. Okay, I'm not going to take any chances with that guy. I'm going to bust him through the door and we see a um, handsome Asian police employee. We're just going to give him a little bit of a taste for the shotgun. And again, we're going to walk by here. There is a liquor in the area. And uh, I do not have uh, the ammo, as you can see, or the energy to put forth that type of battle. Especially when we're just trying to get to the end. Alright, so now I'm running up the stairs since the liquor can't get me. And Mr. X is going to aggro here, so we're going to throw a flash grenade. Boom. And we have three, luckily four enemies, including Mr. X, that were stunned by that. Uh, feeling a little dirty, feel like going for a shower, but uh, we're just going to continue with the run. Okay, over here we have uh, two Ivy uh, zombies, and I've seen several ways where people have uh, dealt with them. You know, surprise, surprise, this game came over, came out 15 months ago, and I've watched other people play it. So I've decided uh, Grenade's going to be the best way to go. 
be able to get them out of my way and I'll be able to safely navigate this hallway. Okay, so... Alright, as you can see by those items, I don't really have a lot left and I need certain of those defense items to be able to get past key portions. So here we're just going to get that guy down. He's getting up, so he's no problem. From the cheap seats, no thank you. And running across the top, you're going to see a zombie dog chomping on a dead and now reanimated uh, cop. But we're just going to run right by them. No interest, and it doesn't seem like it wants to follow us. Into here we have a horde of zombies past this door. We're going to throw a grenade, addressing all of them, and smashing through. But right about here i got to slow down because as you're going to see rounding this corner to the left, another liquor. And for those not familiar with Resident Evil 2, and I don't understand why you would be watching this if you weren't, other than your love for chargeback forward. So those things uh, react to sounds. But they can't climb stairs, so you got to be pretty careful. Now here's a surprise adult G. Last two times I was actually successfully able to get around him. Not this time, but... Eat a grenade. And I even though never saw it in any uh, speed runs, there was a dog running around there. So I was able to get away from here. Big mistake that I make right here is I do it to a quick pivot, and that footfall uh, is enough noise for the liquor. And uh, but as you can see, I somehow escaped that without getting injured at all. Okay, we're getting uh, onto the final push here. Mr. X has come behind me, but I only have one magnum around you can see there i hesitated for a second thinking of shoving that in his skull but i know it will not do good i'm going to equip that last flash grenade that i've been holding on for this moment we're going to go through the cage here we already see that adults uh g coming through now i throw i throw the flash grenade thinking that i'm good but unfortunately the zombie on the ground grabs me and then i got double grabbed by a burning zombie as you can see I try to get away, do another quick trap, but get chopped again. Now I'm in danger. I have no healing items left. I'm going to get that uh, last green and blue herb down. That's going to give me a bit of shield to get through this last little bit. Now at this point, I was convinced I was not going to make it. But through to the end, right? Get rid of that zombie. Now, I wanted to run past her, but uh, I don't know why I didn't shoot her. I think I was afraid of Mr. X, as you can see him leering right there. So now, literally dead, hobbling. I'm able to get around that zombie, up the stairs, and uh, I, I literally have nothing left. You know, like no healing. Mr. X is right behind me. But thankfully, thankfully, only my third try I was able to get through it. I got my platinum. So, a good way to uh, spend Easter Sunday morning. Again, the Chargeback Army, I hope you guys are all doing well. Stay safe, take care of each other. I know it's hard in these days to get outside and respecting the social distancing. But do what you can and uh, get off uh, the vidya. Don't spend too much time playing. Okay, guys, it's been Terrence from Chargeback 4. Thanks for watching my third attempt to get through the fourth survivor. And luckily, I was successful and got my platinum trophy. Take care, guys, and we'll post another video when we post another video.